most of the gas stoves are being used by libs in their wealthy coastal enclaves for their Epicurean cookies. Yeah. Real Americans, <clears throat> real Americans use electric stoves, I'm sorry to say, especially the real Americans in the heartland. And uh, Republicans have talked themselves into thinking that this is now, I guess this has replaced the caravans and replaced <laughs> CRT. And we have this this rolling thing of the most important crises facing America. The current and well, Fox has this is now the new most content moment. they got to fill, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So, Sonny, please, could you Sonny, just push our back. Right. So now, now that JBL is done, back. just just totally gaslighting me. All right. So here here is what actually happened. What has okay. actually happened is for the last like four or five years, every two, two or three, four months, you'll get a story in the newspapers about how gas stoves and gas appliances in general are really bad. We need to get rid of natural gas. It's bad for the environment. It's bad for your health. Every three or four months, again, get rid of the get rid of your gas stoves. Get rid of your uh, gas heaters, etc municipalities have banned a uh, new installation of gas lines in buildings in like New York city, right? LA, San Francisco, same thing. They're banning uh, the installation of gas lines. The New York governor uh, suggested, you know, maybe we should actually just ban the sale of gas stoves altogether. We should ban them. We should, you, if you, if your gas stove breaks, you should have to buy a induction. You know, now, is that a come and, anyway. is that a come and get it situation? Will they be, will, they're going no, to come to their house, house. Not, to, their house to rip out it's the existing house to stoves? House. Not yet, but we're getting there. We're getting, so the, the, but the, but so like that is the background to all of this. That's the background sorry, to all of this. Brief pause, Sonny, brief pause. Yeah. As somebody who's recently remodeled a kitchen, where are you on induction stoves? Because I think they look pretty awesome. I've had, I've, I've owned, uh, or I rented a place with an electric stove. I rented a, a place with a glass top induction style stove that didn't, was frankly closer to electric than induction, but I didn't like it for a lot of reasons. It was, it's super messy. I now, I moved in, I've, I've told this on one of the story on one of my other podcasts, but I moved into a, a house where like the person who lived here was a professional chef or something and has remodeled, remodeled the kitchen with like a six burner, uh, not quite Ooh. Viking range. It's like Ooh. the next step down from that. It's like one one step below Viking, uh, with like a built-in sub-zero freezer. I've got the double oven. So like my, I, it's actually very pleasurable for me to cook now because I have all the tools. I got all the tools that I need to make gourmet. Uh, Governor yeah, Abbott is going to protect the, your stove. Don't the worry. The menu style meals. So, but, but, all right. So we're, we're, so like, there's a whole background here. Years and years of studies and stories in municipalities saying we need to get rid of the gas stoves. We need to get, we need to ban them. We need to get them out of houses. It, it's not, you know, it's not good. We need to get rid of natural gas. Natural gas is bad. We need to, you know. And then when uh, the government official says, yeah, maybe we need to look at banning the gas stoves and Democrats uh, such as uh, our uh, AOC is out there saying, yeah, we got to ban the, the gas stove. She says like from with her gas stove in the background, all of a sudden it turns into Republicans pounce. Now, I we can talk about, you know, the the semiotics of this and whatever but like the the story all of a sudden becomes crazy republicans are angry that anyone would suggest that we need to ban gas stoves it's it's insane the the, the conservatives did not go out there and pick a culture war fight about this i am sorry that is not at all what happened what has happened is that there has been a steady drumbeat of uh left-wing progressive activists saying for years we need to get rid of gas stoves maybe that's true maybe it's not maybe we do need to get rid of gas stoves i don't know maybe there's a, a magic shut these bullet. gas stoves down until we can figure out what the hell is going on with them maybe there's a magic bullet study that's going to come down the pike and it says everybody who has a gas stove in their house gets dementia at age 56 and we, we all got to get rid of them all right like okay fine maybe that's the case but do do not lie to me and say that these things have not been being discussed and then say, oh, Republicans are just making this all up. That's what drove people on the right crazy. You want to, if you want to talk about I, what I actually, will say, yeah, no, which it, people the first right. time I have it's, ever heard this before, like any sort of, I, I hear uh, like I, people was so literally I'm, just I'm, you talking 30 seconds ago. I so have I'm, never, I'm, I read I'm the newspapers. In, I've never so seen I'm plugged in, I'm plugged into this very, very tightly because I wrote a piece in the Washington Post four the years ago that had, gas? what's that? 
Are you in the pocket of big gas? I am now. Now that I live in Texas, I all of my stuff is gas powered. If if they take gas out, I'm screwed. I don't know what I don't know how to power things with plugs and electrical lines. <laughs> I don't, that doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, but no, but I'm actually I actually am very plugged into this. I because I wrote a piece for the Washington Post four years ago that had the headline: Environmentalists make great movie villains because they want to make your real life worse. So anytime a story like this happens, where an environmentalist group wants to pull something away, take something away, ban something. I get 50 tweets about it. I get I, 100 people are like, look, and more proof. And I, I'm telling you, I've been seeing this gas stove thing for like three or four years now. People uh, people have been trying to get rid of them. So again, it is not like, and then uh, as as Tim says, it's not just the the Trump, the this Trumpka, uh, Richard Trumpka was saying, oh, we got to maybe get rid of them. Then immediately, like a flip switch that was like, well, if you don't want to get rid of them, then you're a terrible person. And you have AOC out there saying, well, it's bad for your kids. I'd you like got to get rid of it. You got to, you, you got to, you got to, you, you, you know, why would anybody want gas anyway? You've got induction stoves and they're better. And you're just a Luddite who wants to cook with fire instead of using Oof. the power of magnets, magnets, baby. That's how, and like, whatever it's, it's fine. May, again, maybe induction stoves are better. I didn't really like the induction stove I had, but it was an old one. Maybe these new ones with the magnet power, is it's amazing and it's great um we need tesla fine. branded induction stoves to make this culture war complete see i would that would that would actually so, be funny if if tesla bought up all the uh the induction companies I guess, in I, the so country. i guess my question though is sunny I, I hear your point about how whatever republicans get mad over the republicans pounced thing but that's really what you're talking about is like the eight closet normal republicans that you follow on twitter Right. Like that's who you're really talking about. Like they get mad about the pouncing. Right. Like the 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 pure uncut MAGA media that that the actual Republican voters listen to. They were performatively mad about the well, stoves, not about maybe. the pouncing. Well, maybe I mean and maybe and look and maybe JVL is right that these people are all mad about something that they don't own anyway and would never right. would never put in their, their house. Like I I can I again I I can I believe and appreciate all that and it's embarrassing it's embarrassing to have the Republicans out there with the gas stove act and the the, the Gadsden flag. Like like this is this is all childish embarrassing nonsense. Yeah. But like again the 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 impetus of all this was not Republicans just deciding they didn't wake up one day and were like, you know what? Gas stoves are our thing. Right. Though, they didn't wake my... up and say gas stoves. That's that's what we're going to go to war over today. Well, they they were, did. It, the Fox no, it's not, producers. It's just not, it's not at all what did. happened. The Fox producers kind of did. I mean, they used it as an impetus, you know, for, OK, well, here's going to be our thing this week. Hey, hope you enjoyed that teaser of The Next Level. Click the link down below for the full episode and head on over to the Next Level YouTube page and click that subscribe button.